What is good, Grey Gang? We're here today. We're going to try to do a little bit of squirrel hunting. And I know what you're asking, like, Kendall Pro, if you're going squirrel hunting, why are you wearing deer hunting orange? Well, to be honest, guys, the reason I'm wearing hunter's orange is because it is actually still deer season, and I don't feel like getting shot today. I really don't recommend wearing orange for squirrel hunting at all, because they can see color. But in times like this, if I'm not wearing orange, I'm technically not even legally squirrel hunting. Like, I am allowed to squirrel hunt right now, but I'm not allowed to squirrel hunt right now without orange. But what's actually different about this squirrel hunt is that I'm actually going to try to catch and cook this guy like immediately after I kill him. The weapon I'm out here using, just a really simple, just a, you know, 22 long rifle. Most of the leaves are off the trees as you can see, so I shouldn't have any problem, you know, just taking my favorite shot right there. And we're ready to go with a hollow point in the chamber. And I know for you platinum gray gangsters, y'all are like, dude, where was the video Saturday? I missed it. I think I just see a squirrel. I definitely... Oh man, I definitely see a squirrel. But the reason there wasn't a video Saturday is because I just didn't have one ready. And I was gone, getting my heart on fire. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put the GoPro on. We're gonna sneak on up there and try to take the shot. And down goes Timbo. Tell you what boys, that's pretty insane. I literally just turned this camera on five seconds before I shot him. I was just walking. He was right on the side of the road just looking at me like, hey, how you doing? And you know, I mean, well, 22 didn't take long to show him who I was. But I do have a confession to make about that shot right there. It was not a head shot. I didn't have his head. All I had was the back of his body. So I just shot him right in the back. Got a good vital shot right in his lungs and heart. Well, it's just not a head shot. Let's go on in, see what he is, and then we'll go ahead and get him skinned up, and we'll go up there, we'll start cooking him. Good shot, good shot. He's dead, he's down. Right here he is, guys. A good little squirrel right there, good little gray squirrel. He was actually right up there whenever I saw him, but whenever I was turning on the GoPro, he ended up seeing me, and he ran right down here, stopped right here, and then I shot him right in the back. And uh, as you can see, he really didn't go very far at all. Bullet ended up coming right out there. It went in right here. Perfect little spine and heart shot right there. Just in right there, out in the front. I particularly didn't eat lunch today because I wanted to put a pretty good wager on this hunt. I wanted to make this catch and cook worth something. And so here we go, guys. We're going to go ahead and get on into the skinning process. I'm going to be using my KG knife. They're not exactly out yet, but they are amazing. I'll tell you that. But here we go. We're going to go ahead and skin this guy right on the back. Rip him open. Here we go. Just pull it off, just like that, nice and easy. Perfect, perfect. Just pull that right out there, just pull the skin right off of it. Do that to both legs in the back. There, and there we go, guys. There's like its torso in the back legs. That's what we're actually gonna be frying up today. The rest of this squirrel, I'm gonna go ahead and skin it up and you know put it in the refrigerator, but what we're actually gonna be eating is the back legs right there. So let's go on over there, get the pan hot and everything, and let's get to cooking this thing. I've never actually done this before. And so here we go, guys. We're about to cook this sucker up. The first thing we're gonna be pulling out is some, you know, butane. Just, you know, some fuel. We're gonna get out my little stand right here. That way, I don't know, it don't get hot on the ground. I don't really know if I need it, but it looks cool. And then I'll get this funky thing. I don't know what it is, but you're supposed to put it on top and it's like a little stove. Top. And now I'm gonna pull out the pan we're using. We got a big old cast iron skillet, boys. Put her right there on there like that. I wanna make sure it's level because I don't want my squirrel to, you know, fall off into the gravel. And I feel like that has a pretty good possibility of happening. So, so here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and see if we can't start the fire a little bit. How do I do this? Oh, yeah, man. There we go. Oh, it's hot. I don't see much of a flame, but I tell you, it's hot. Then I have some little oil here. Go ahead and put that on in there. Yeah, we'll go all of it. Well, now let me bring y'all over here to me. Here's what we're going on, guys. Look, oh, dang, it's already boiling. I think I got that way too hot. I'll be honest. Oh, that's too much heat, too much heat. Goodness, the pan's already getting hot, guys. This is some this is some crazy camping stuff, dude. I've already told y'all this, but I have never done this in my life. Like, I've never cooked on anything like this before. The only thing I've really only cooked on is like an actual stove. And I really don't know how it's gonna work out. This could end up very badly. I could die. But uh, nevertheless, here we go. Oh, snap. It's cooking now. Oh yeah, it's cooking. I did not know it was that hot. I bet y'all got it on maximum heat, don't I? I need to turn that thing down. Oh, that's hotter. Okay, there we go. Man, dude, I didn't know I had that thing that... Ah, 
Wait, just hit me in the face. Okay, this is crazy, okay? I did not know I had that thing that hot. I just had some olive oil hit me in the face. That is insane. I don't even have a spatula. Come on, Kendall, what are you doing? Get, get your stuff out. I'm not exactly professional, but I still think I should probably turn it down a little bit. I bet you it's gonna taste awful, simply because I don't know how to cook at all. Here's my fork, though. I mean, at least it looks cool. It folds up, too, which makes it tactical. Ah! What am I supposed to do in this situation? I don't know. I mean, am I supposed to, like, put this on the end of a stick to flip it? I mean, it's stinking popping, man. Please don't pop on me. Please don't. Ah! There we go. Now we're cooking a little bit. Ah! Now we're cooking a little bit. Ah! I'm gonna have to get my fork and turn the heat in the owl. There we go. Maybe that'll do it. It definitely needs the heat turned down though. Now it's starting to cook a little bit better. Now I can actually come in here and move it around a little bit and it's not gonna spray up in my face. I'm gonna kill chicken real quick. But now that we're just sitting here watching this thing fry, I believe it's time for the verse of the week. I mean, I didn't get to do one Saturday because there wasn't a video, but I still have one ready. This one's coming from Romans 1.16. For I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it's the power of God to salvation for everyone who believes. And then it goes on down a little bit, you know, says a little bit more. And the special word to that little phrase is everyone. Not just for preachers, but everyone. That includes you, your friends, and even the people that you don't even like. No matter what that person has done in the past or how bad they feel at the moment, none of that matters because God is here for everybody. And he's here all the time. But I guess it's about time to flip this old squirrel, see what we can get going on the other side here. And that side's not really cooked at all. That's nice. It's also starting to get windy out here, which is nice. While we're over here doing that, let's go over here to my chickens and see if they've laid any eggs. Because I tell you what, I came out here and collected eggs this morning, but if they've laid one since, I believe we'll just go ahead and eat it. So here we go, guys. Moment of truth. Do we have any eggs? Uh, no, not in that one. That's a golf ball. What about over here? Nope, not there either. Well, that stinks, don't it? Are you kidding me? Look at this. Look, this is insane. That chicken's about to lay an egg. As soon as we go in there to check for eggs, here comes that one. She's actually le legit, she's about to lay an egg. So I'll tell you what guys, whenever this thing gets done and we get done eating it, I'm gonna go back in there and check and see if she's laid that. Cause if she has, we're about to have the freshest egg ever. Oh! You hear that? She's clucking right now. That means she's laying the egg. She is laying that egg right now. Well, that's good. This isn't only a squirrel catching cook, but we're about to have an egg catching cook. If that makes any sense at all. As for this guy, you know, he's getting there. He's not completely finished yet. He is spraying grease everywhere in a five mile radius, but he's not exactly done yet. Oh my goodness, that is hot. I mean, I'll be honest guys, I don't know if that's normal, if they're literally supposed to spray grease like a water hose, but let's go check on this chicken because it's been about 10 minutes and I think she might be done. And I changed my mind. We're actually gonna leave the chicken, wait until she actually walks out of the chicken coop and then we'll go get the egg. But first, let's actually go ahead and let's start trying to eat this thing. I don't know how good it's gonna be. I mean, I'll be completely honest. I don't know how good it can be. Oh, here we go. Turn the heat off. Man down, man down. Oil in the eye, oil in the eye. Put this over here in my little can. I don't know how good of a cup that's gonna be. But anyways, guys, here we go. Let's see how I done. All right, so let me answer a few questions that y'all may be asking. How does it smell? It smells like a squirrel 30 minutes after I shot it. And I know you guys are thinking like, well, that doesn't smell too appetizing. And, uh, well, y'all would be right. It really doesn't smell like something you want to eat. But let's just hope that it tastes a lot better than it smells. So far, I've been digging into this for about a minute. I've not even got a piece off the bone yet. So we may have a few complications here. Okay, here we go, guys. First bite, it's not big at all. Awful. It's nasty. I'm just calling it how I see it, guys. That is not edible. Here's another little piece. It's really hard to get off the bone. I really don't think I cooked it right. <laughs> I definitely did not cook that right at all. I'm sorry if you guys like came to this video expecting to learn how to cook a squirrel. So at the end of the day, what are my thoughts on this cooked squirrel? Sheba, do you want this? I'm gonna give it to my dog. She can have it. 
Yeah. There you go. Have fun. Am I disappointed in myself? Not really, because I didn't expect me to do much better. But on the other hand, we still have an egg over here, and I can about promise you that thing's gonna taste good. Now, there ain't many things I can cook, but an egg is one of them. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. I think the chi- What is this? This man's insane. Dude, you're a rooster. You don't lay eggs. Get out of there. What are you doing? But this hen is out of here. We got an egg. This thing's so fresh that the stuff's still sticking to it. I just want to thank you, ma'am. Thank you for, uh... Oh, what is that? Okay, thank you, though. I'm gonna go eat this real quick. Peace. It's still warm when you touch it. It's so weird, but it's so good. I don't have butter to cook this. I literally only have olive oil, which is probably gonna make it taste gross, but I guarantee it'll be more edible than that stinking squirrel. Like, I'm sorry, guys, but I, I have failed you. I have failed you, Anakin. I have failed you. That was a strange little experience right there. We just walked in, took this thing. I don't know what that rooster was doing. That's my question. What in the world was Rocky trying to do? Lay an egg? I mean, if he lays an egg, I don't know. And here we go. We're going to go ahead and crack this egg. That is crazy. These are looking pretty good. And if I ever have to do a 24 hour survival challenge, I think I know what's gonna be my main food source. I don't have any salt or pepper. It's probably gonna hurt me. And so here we go guys, eggs. It's hard to mess up eggs, but if I done it, I probably should just quit. And here we go for round two. How does it smell? It smells like eggs mixed with a squirrel that I shot 30 minutes ago. So to be honest guys, it stinks. And I really hope it doesn't taste like the squirrel. And it definitely does. Goodness guys, what am I doing wrong here? Oh man, what's that? I mean, I guess I'm just not an outdoor chef for now. I will be though, I will be. Besides that guys, I gotta get out of here and I gotta go clean that pot cause it is nasty. Like and subscribe, hashtag Jesus, hashtag rigging.